Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the speed of light through Earth's atmosphere. So this light is the fastest um, the speed that we can see and C is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and this is in a vacuum. Now what happens when light is traveling through a medium? So here we need to uh, look at the how okay, the index of refraction pretty much and n is the index of refraction and an index of refraction is a measurement of how uh, how good it is that material are deflecting light pretty much so when you want to look at the velocity of something traveling through a medium you can see velocity divided by the speed of light divided by the index of refraction now since we know that light is the fastest thing that can travel and we cannot divide by zero either and it's restricted to being bigger, greater, or equal than one. Now with that being said, let's look at uh, the Earth's atmosphere. For example, um, we have to look at the layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, the, this index of refraction depends on temperature, on pressure and several other things. So let's do one example of it because Earth's atmosphere changes a lot and we don't have the kind of time. So let's look at what it is at, let's say, zero degrees Celsius at one ATM, which is pretty much a surface level, water level. And the index of refraction here is 1.003. Now, if we divide 3 times 10 to the eighth by 1.003, we get that the speed of light here is 2.0. 997 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So as you can see, it changes very little from 3. So here we're practically fairly close to 3. So because we changed very little, we generally don't consider air a good refractor. Uh, and that's one of the things that you should know. Uh, my name is Eileen Perez, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the speed of light through Earth's atmosphere.